What's up guys? This is the Rifleman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Ottoman Empire. So in this episode we have intercepted enemy forces moving around the city of Cologne and we have quite the coalition of forces here. We have a incredibly small Swedish contingent. We have a number of Danish elements uh, yeah, Danish elements and we also have a key force being a Prussian stack. And this is going to be quite a good opportunity to uh, destroy most of the forces in this area with Yashi Yehudi's army, uh, allowing the other two, other two forces to replenish, and then they'll probably push in and take the city. But let's go and destroy uh, these forces, and let's also swap some troops around like so, so we get a few more useful reinforcements um, if things go badly. Well, let's fight. I don't think I don't think things are going to go badly, but it never hurts to uh, make sure your reinforcements are going to come in in a way that would be most useful and in empire that generally means bringing in infantry first to form a defensive position near where your reinforcements come in what you don't well, yeah what you really don't want is to send bring in artillery that gets immediately killed and killed and killed and killed where you go so, oh, early in the morning here let's get cracking we are going to so there's going to be swedish danish and ooh. Swedish, Danish, and um, Prussian forces on the field at the same time. Because they are all different nationalities. So they will... Uh, they will all enter the battlefield at the same time. Let's pick... A good... Oh no, don't pick up the lights. These Janissary Grandiers can hunker down a bit, small, a bit, a bit of a smaller line. You guys group up. Let's take our rifles in light infantry mode. It's just, I think it means they pretty much fight. They end up firing in 360 degrees, and they crouch and space out, which is pretty good, pretty handy. It does mean they get. This weak unit will deploy like so. I've just got a grenadier unit actually, I'll put them out here. Then I've got my roaming band of cavalry. Just turn fire it well off for the Delhi infantry. Come on, Feline. General there. Who's over here? Some Danish people. So let's get my light infantry spin around and form. Oh no! Howitzers. I always forget the damn howitzers. It looks like they haven't though. Straight for the. Okay, you guys. Canister sh uh, shrapnel shot doing some real good damage there. I was I was convinced that they were actually going to go after my. How it's a cruise. I was I thought this would this signified that there was a interception about to happen. Okay, all the Prussians are coming in from behind the line. Okay, it looks like the, it looks like the Danish aren't going to come in very easily. But I wanted these chaps just to deploy some stakes. Here comes the main Danish field contingent, which maybe means I can send a 
at least with SARS, if they, when, they, when they eventually turn to run in, oh, does this look like the way to cross through spikes without suffering damage? The general's not charging, but he's, he's gone way too close. Send my Sepahi in to go engage the Hussars. Everyone else is free to almost do what they like. General's been killed, charging our line. Drop these guys into square. Okay, let's send the unit of Sepahi into the city. Go chase after the remaining. Let's go attack those uh, Danes that are in the city. Oh, you guys get in the square, you guys stop firing. Hello, they're charging our line. Bring in the Felaim. Let's over the line. Actually, get those Delhi horsemen over here. My artillery, my uh, howitzers are way too close to uh, use. They're way too close to use their quick climb against proper battlefield targets, but. Blank. Okay, the artillery, unsurprisingly. I want the Denny Horseman on the move to try and intercept some of this artillery back here. infantry on the flank that should cause these grand guards to fall quite quickly Let's push up our flank Horsemen to cover. Okay, it looks like my Sapaki can't engage that cavalry unit because it looks like they are <laughs> they're dancing, but they're bugs coming in. It's not a problem. I'm just going to try and beat everyone else. Wait, the Danes are. Uh, they're not taking any chances. They're going to hunker down. Even when it means that their allies get slaughtered. There you go. Spahis hit the first regiment of horse. And the Grand Air Guards, so let's halt my light infantry's fire. Created quite a little blocking position here with their with their uh, stakes. There we go. The regiment of horse are being knocked down pretty good. The Sipahi, while they might be Lancer cavalry, they are very well armoured and have fairly good melee attack. So they can stick it out in the combat afterwards. 
God damn you quick line. Switch to round sharp. Engage the Danes that are coming in. Pull the cavalry back. I hear riflemen. Of some description. Run you, run you along the line. We go counter charge the dragoons. Got a howitzer to start engaging the reinforcements at the back. I haven't seen any Swedes pop up. Yeah, those riflemen got socked in by those dragoons, but it looks like they're going to be caught between. They're going to be caught between both the Grenadiers and my Delhi Infantry, so I don't think... Aha! No. Aha! Ah, oh, too bad about my... You aim at them. Ah, no. It's a Pahi. You come in and take him out. That gun team instead aim at the infantry units behind the lines. There you go, they're more than welcome to, uh... Oh no, 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 quick line, how it is. Oh, excellent canister shot there. Oh, no, not, not canister shot, shrapnel shot. Uh, okay, when my cavalry win here, these daily horsemen run. These guys fall back. These three horsemen leg it to go hit those gunners. My Nizam rifles can engage this unit of line infantry. Looks like they do want to chase me down, but... Yeah, the general realises his, his guns are vulnerable. Not soon enough, though. So the main push is over on this flank. How it is. You hit the 3rd Regiment. You hit the 5th Regiment. Pull my cavalry back. Start up the last canister shot because they're sufficiently close. The gunners have been killed. So now go charge the general's bodyguard and see if you can beat them. So let's pull this flank back. Quick line doing its glorious work once more. These guys are getting sniped by my light infantry. Oh, my Nizam! Fire! 23rd Order. Engage! Should be fully reloaded. There we go. My Delhi, Delhi rifles back here are having a Bit of a dodgy time with the general, but it looks like their line infantry is very is so keen to kill, yeah, so keen to kill my cavalry, they shot their own general. That's a classic me. Yeah, my spahi just got shot to bits, but well, I'm okay with that. How it's just focused on the extreme end of the line. Yes. The cavalry's on the move, the general's bodyguards recovered, but.
doesn't mean things are over. These guns focus on the ninth. One of them looks like they're bugged. Fire! Beautiful. Apart from that miss, that wasn't so great. Just engage that cavalry unit, you may as well. Keep focusing this far into the line, because right now it is my my rifle is holding them off. Let's get these Nizam up over here to push back this line and counter, counter well not counter charge, but get ready to charge the seventh coming in to support them. Characters aren't explicitly needed to, to defeat these guys, but it would help. These Nizama, oh, these giant three musketeers, loading and firing as fast as they can. Oh, the whole line just suffered quite a big morale shock there. Let's run my cavalry back. Where are my guns? You can still carry on canister shotting. This other one. You may as well do the same thing as well. Light infantry are moving up. Here comes this fairly untouched regiment. So let's get one of my howitzers to start to attack them. Okay, those dragoons are routed. And these rifles have held the line. switch into round shot mode. Let's kick this up a notch. So they've got no reserves. This unit will sweep away the first. Both these units can run up here, up onto the hill, shoot down into the seventh, then that will be the end of them. Push up the light foot are getting far too close. So understandably my Nizam is very upset. There we go, we've knocked out that unit so that this infantry can push up and charge the flank of the seventh. These guys are gonna mow down those light infantry. They're not going to be very happy bunnies at all. We switch to round shot. Keep engaging the guys to the rear, although I think that's it. And I'm hoping if we can make this unit route, well, we'll have to end the battle rather than having to worry about these guys chasing or doing anything, getting up to anything. I'm impressed by my rifles, how they've managed to hold their ground. Even though now they're not actually doing light infantry behaviour, they're not sat down. Get my howitzers to go both hit the ninth. Keep you guys just 
up here in case they come back. Get these Nizam up here. Drop some surprises onto the night. All my artillery, not, all my field artillery that's not flying round shot can engage the night. The fifth should fall under a couple of volleys of. Hey, that Nizam actually run out of ammo. likely not be doing any chasing down because we do need well, I don't want those cavalry to cause any problems and they're silly non firing at rank yeah you better you better reposition you don't get screwed over by all these guys coming over see they're winning slightly allegedly or when the uh, when that regiment of foot gets within position, they're not. No, they're relative. Just as the quick plankton's pouring in. Okay. So it feels like I'm hoping that other unit counts as not having came in. But it looks like I don't get, I'm not going to get that wish. So let's get. Get some units to pop over. The howitzers can't engage. Not they, they, they can't engage with quick climb at that distance. And they can't engage with round shot at that distance. So I'm hoping, just with some. Oh, what I might also need to do is limber up these guns because sometimes it's only artillery that works. Sometimes my guys, when they're like this, they don't shoot at them. And there's a chance I shoot at them and that, for whatever reason, frees them from their logic. But this can be part of the problem about having reinforcements coming in through towns. So let's see if my infantry engage the provincial cavalry. If they do, problem solved. Classic. Oh, nuts. Okay, so this is a bit of a weird situation. My infantry won't shoot them because they don't count as being in yet. So I start running howitzers over. I'm not going to show you all this. I just want to explain what I'm doing. Keep my I'm sacrificing my Nizan to the almighty cavalry guards. Just trying to see if I can. Uh... Hey, it made them come in. Just deploy into squares. A big part of Empire is learning the the bugs. Hey, that means it's not over. Run you guys over to here. Just pour fire into them. <laughs> There's, yeah, a big part of Empire is learning the bugs. Because you will you'll never learn them all. Um, but it's handy. Sometimes it's handy to see battles like this happen because then you kind of, well, when you guys come across this, you'll know what you have to do. Just charge it in, sacrifice. Hey, here are the Swedes. Men are, are not happy. Good. I was hoping that I caught those men before they hit my 
how it says. God damn. What an annoying way to end this battle. You guys run on and hit horse artillery. I mean, those aren't slouches, but that's a bunch of line infantry coming in. So let's bring my Sipahi in. And limber, quick climb, drop it right on the combat. Friendly fire be damned. Just want this battle over, to be honest. Counter charge the horse grenadier guards. Run out my infantry. Just swarm them. Swarm, swarm, attack pattern alpha. The damage is done. The battle is won. Let's just call it. Pretty sure the Danes do get a mild boost in melee combat. Yeah. Okay. Good old bugs. If, if, if I couldn't fix it, fortunately because I intercepted, I could have just paused it and ran the clock out. Oh no, I don't like the fact that... I don't like the fact that the game isn't over. That indicates that there's a hidden unit somewhere. So just generally look at your units. No one's being shot at, no one's being engaged. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when it's over because I'm going to speed up and see the clock out because... Uh... God, this is weird. Radio. see you in a second everyone. And we're back guys, we had to see out the clock, no one was attacking us, so there wasn't a hidden musket unit anywhere. Um, but victory is ours because because we intercepted them, they counted as the attacker so we could run the clock out. Which is, which is pretty handy. But there we go, we've won the battle, and now we've got to see how the rest of their end turn phase continues. We took quite a, a bigger battering than I would have liked, but... A lot of their forces are now getting pushed away. <laughs> there is a repression stack to watch out for behind our army at, at Brussels. So there's a chance that that army will withdraw if they get attacked. Don't worry, Savoy. We're coming after you. The Mughal Empire will... Well, they'll all, they'll, they will naturally know something is up um, <laughs> as we continue to build up our strength. Ooh, okay. Yeah, you're bringing loads of reinforcements. Oh no, and I can't withdraw. I can't, um. I can't, uh, not fight either. But, to be honest, this force is pretty knackered. As is. The garrison's knackered. This force is, that coming in is knackered. This force here. I can't see. I don't. Oh no, there it is. They are also knackered. The only strong units they've got is this la one large Prussian army, so it's going to be a bit of a... Our howitzer's going to have to do some good work, but I think it's definitely... Oh, it's definitely fightable, but looking at what the episode timer would be had I not made the cut, we're, be, we're very close to the end of the episode. So what I'm going to do is call it here and say thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for yet another frantic defence against a bit of a ragtag coalition. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>